In this video, I'll be going over Notion's different pricing plans so you can make the best decision for you and your business. If you've been wondering what the differences are between Notion's free, plus, and business plan, you'll know which Notion plan is best for you and your business. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're choosing between Notion plans, then you're probably already pretty familiar with Notion. But just to give you a brief overview, Notion is a fully customizable digital notebook that's an excellent tool for things like project management, organizing content, and delegating tasks to your team, just to name a few use cases. Now, the great thing about Notion is that you can get started for free with access to most of its core features, see if it's gonna be the right solution for your business, before upgrading to a paid account. Now, down in the description of this video, we have a link that you can get started with Notion today, and this is gonna help out the channel and allow us to continue making videos for free, just like this. All right, now taking a look at the different plans here. So what's great about the free plan is that, well, it's free, and you don't need a credit card to get started. Now, the features that you get with the free plan is you get access to the collaborative workspace, you get integrations with apps like Slack, GitHub, and more. There's some basic page analytics that you get access to, as well as a seven day page history and you can invite up to 10 guests on a free plan. So the free plan is best suited for individual users such as solopreneurs, freelancers, or students. Now those of you just starting out with basic organizational, small projects, or personal use where little to no guest access is required, free plan is best for you. Now taking a look at the plus plan, this is the first paid plan and this is $8 per person per month billed annually or $10 per person per month billed monthly. Now this includes everything that you get in the free plan but but it also includes unlimited blocks for teams, unlimited file uploads. It goes from a seven day page history to a 30 day history, and you can invite up to a hundred guests. The plus plan is best suited for small businesses or teams that require a bit more collaboration and storage. So maybe users that have outgrown the free plan, you need more features for efficiency. It's also great for content creators and startups needing enhanced collaboration with a larger number of guests. Now, moving into the business plan, this is the next step up. So this is $15 per user per month build annually or $18 per person per month build monthly. So with the business plan, you get everything in the plus plan as well as single sign-on capabilities, private team spaces, bulk PDF export, advanced page analytics. It goes from a 30-day page history to a 90-day page history and you can invite up to 250 guests. So the business plan is designed to connect several teams and tools together. The business plan is best suited for larger businesses or companies that need comprehensive project management and organizational tools. It's also great for teams requiring advanced collaboration features and extensive guest access. Businesses that are looking to integrate multiple teams and tools for a more streamlined workflow. So now that we've talked a little bit about the individual plans, let's go over some reasons that you might want to consider upgrading. So upgrading from the free plan to the plus plan. Some reasons to upgrade might be unlimited blocks for teams. So the the free plan limits the number of blocks or the individual pieces of content such as text, paragraphs, tasks, databases, those sorts of things. The free plan limits how many you can create. You also get unlimited file uploads. So while the free plan might be enough for just basic users, the plus plan offers unlimited file uploads, which is crucial for teams or individuals dealing with large volumes of files or large file sizes. You also get an extended page history. So the plus plan provides an extended page history beyond the seven day limit on the free plan, making it easier to track changes and revert to previous versions of documents over a longer period of time. You also get increased guest access. Going from 10 guests to 100 guest invites significantly enhances collaborative capabilities, allowing for broader external participation in projects, which is essential for businesses or creators looking to scale their operations and collaborate with freelancers, clients, or just larger audiences. Now, if you're already on the plus plan and you're thinking of upgrading to the business plan, here's some reasons to upgrade. First things first is private team spaces. So the business plan allows for the creation of private spaces within teams, ideal for larger organizations with multiple departments or groups that need their dedicated workspaces. You also get even more advanced page analytics. So understanding how content is consumed and interacted with can be crucial for businesses. The business plan offers advanced analytics for deeper insights into page usage and engagement. 
engagement. The business plan also has an increased guest access up to 250 guests. So for businesses engaging with a larger network of collaborators, clients, or stakeholders, the ability to invite up to 250 guests ensures that collaboration is not limited by the platform constraints. Integration capabilities. So the business plan supports more sophisticated integrations with other tools vital for tech-heavy workflows or businesses that rely on a seamless connection between different platforms. Now, my final recommendation. So when deciding between Notion's free plus and business plans, consider where you're at in your entrepreneurial journey or content creation process. And what are your immediate and future needs going to be? If you're just starting out, the free plan's a no-brainer. It allows you to get organized without any costs, making it perfect for solopreneurs, freelancers, and small startups. What I'd recommend you do is use the free plan to familiarize yourself with the basics of Notion's functionalities. For those small to medium-sized teams experiencing growth or just needing more collaboration, the Plus plan is your best bet. At $8 per person per month, it offers the right balance of features and flexibility. If your projects are becoming more complex with larger uploads and you're collaborating more frequently, this plan is gonna help you streamline your workflows and enhance team productivity. Larger businesses or rapidly scaling startups will find the business plan most beneficial. Priced at $15 per person per month, it's designed to cater to the needs of these larger teams requiring advanced collaboration, integration, and management tools. If you're managing multiple departments or teams, maybe you need advanced analytics or you must ensure strict privacy permissions, Business Plan will provide the robust support that your organization needs to operate effectively. Hopefully this video was helpful. Again, we'll leave a link to Notion down below in the description for you guys to check them out. Now with that link, you guys will be able to help support the channel. And this way we can keep creating free videos just like this for you. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave us a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. On this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. Thank you guys so much for your time and thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.